I noticed in the grow out cage, which I haven't used that much through winter, that a few things have sprouted. I've got some tomatoes here that are starting to grow. They're just growing in the substrate. I don't have bedding in here. I haven't set it up for quail at the moment because I'm not doing a batch right now. But it gave me an idea that I should utilize this space. I've got a cage that would protect uh, any vegetables from predators like possums. Uh, butterflies probably can't get through this as well, so there'll be less caterpillars. And I'm gonna put in pots I'm going to use some of the quail manure and mix it in with um, garden soil and plant some climbing plants um, because I want to stake it up so that I can grow them up from the pots and potentially if I have a batch I could probably let some young birds run around the base of this pot they're not going to be um, developed enough to jump up and start digging out the roots that would be more what adult quail would do so I can use the space for a fair bit longer get some production out of it use the quail manure uh, the climbing vegetables, I'm probably going to plant some cherry tomatoes, got some climbing beans, obviously that's an easy one to stake up. Cucumbers as well, you can stake them up, uh, they'll try to grow on the ground but you can stake them up as well so they'll grow upwards. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go fill up these pots and start planting and get set up to really maximise the space while you're in between batches. First things first, I'm just going to put some of the quail manure at the bottom because it's high in nitrogen and I'll wait till the plants are a bit older before they really get heap nitrogen. I will mix some at the top. A lot of this is aged, so it's not too bad. You wouldn't want to put fresh stuff in there. So I've got the base, that's probably, and that'll flatten down because it's not as dense as the garden soil. Supercharging that. This is the cheap, cheap dirt that I get. I like supercharging with the quail. Get better results. So that's ready to be planted. I'm going to do up a whole bunch more pots, and we'll take over this whole cage. First up we have tomatoes, I'm going to do probably three of these. Just dropping some tomato seeds. I might have to thin these out a little bit when I... Depends what germinates. Otherwise it'll be heating too much. The problem I find with tomatoes is the possums come along and they nibble the very ends off. They don't eat the whole plant, they just nibble off the ends which just stunts its growth and then you won't get you won't get any fruit because it just doesn't get a chance to even flower. So that's three of those. It's gonna do Three of the Lebanese cucumbers, which I, I quite like. Although, interestingly, the seeds are blue, which I haven't seen before. That's weird. <laughs> I think the cucumbers can grow quite well together because they'll. I might let them, just so they're not all climbing up, I might let some of them go to the ground and spread out because I figure if I do put quail in there I can always lift them up later if there are fruit there and 
one thing I'm going to have to do is obviously this is covered in here, so I'm not going to get benefit of any rain on these plants unless it's a horrendous storm. Um, so I'm going to have to come in and water every day or so, uh, particularly every day early on. So that's just something that's the downside of being covered. It's not too bad. I can I can handle that. Beans. I'll probably let the tomato plant that's growing in there. I'll leave it for now. I don't know if it's going to fruit. I don't know if it can. That base seems quite solid. I'm not sure if it will get what it needs from that. There'll obviously be a lot of nutrients down there, but it's just been trodden on so so much. I'm not sure. We'll see. some company hopefully so we'll throw these in what I will do I'm gonna get to stake it but I'm not gonna stake it now because I will just probably do like a triangle I don't know something like that tie that up and then tie the plants up something like that it's because I've got quite a lot of these just hanging around and hopefully that's enough I can just tie them up and then they'll grow up and they'll probably grow back out like it yeah, so that should work quite well. Uh, I've got plenty of these, so that's the plan, but I won't do that now because it'll just get in the way of the young seedlings, so that's later on. But we're going to put them in now and get them watered, get them started. So I've spaced them out. You need to space them out because they'll be sprouting everywhere at some point. You could cram in more, but yeah, there'll be so much foliage loaded down the track, it's not worth it. So now for some water. Just getting them all started, get them germinated. We can give the the ones that gave me the idea, give them a, a douse. They did that without any water. Must have been just enough in the air to start. And I have to keep these guys out. <laughs> they will tear it up. So, I have to do this every day now though, for a while. Gave myself more work. Probably worth it. Well that is hopefully a more efficient way to use the space in between batches. I told you to get out of here. Actually.